Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, warm welcome. If you're liking it, just give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe if your heart desires. I do appreciate it if you do. Um, I chose to put something on my face today because um, there's always chances, you know, that we are doing things. Um, quote, chances. So, yeah. Uh, makeup is, you know, something, you know, that I generally have on my face, you know, for insurance, you know, just in case, you know, we're going somewhere or doing something. Right now, I am going to, um, kind of, like, prep my eyes a little bit and, then, you know, uh, try out this one new product that I have. So, on my eyes, I have a little bit of, like, concealer. Um, I think concealer is just as good as any primer. I do have primer on my skin and a um, little bit of concealer underneath here. Um, I use the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer Base um, in the green. It is number 912. And, um, the green will help correct out any redness in your skin, whether you have scarring from, you know, rosacea or um, whatever else, you know, might have you no know, um, scarring from, you know, whatever scarring might be there from whatever you have scarring from. I usually use the um, Coty Airspun Powder, and usually use the Ageless, um, essentially Ageless, and this is really nice for being, you know, a dollar store product, um, usually underneath the eyes. I'm using it on eyelids, and it's a nice product for being a dollar find. My face today I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in Peach Natural and um, definitely, you know, taking it down onto my neck. It's it's a nice um, product, you know, for being a little bit warmer. And um, I can technically take it a little bit warmer. My skin tone is, um, at the most, you know, able to take a warmer product. And like I said, I usually use that Coty Aerospondin. This is in translucent extra coverage. Usually I'm using this. I did use it for um, covering only certain areas of my face. You want to go for places technically where your makeup can move. Like around your eye area here and here and around your mouth. For me, also my nose because, you know, you make certain little um, expressions with your nose, you know, just to keep it. Um, I just pulled this one. It is the um, Bare Natural General, um, General uh, Gentle Mineral Powder. It's a nice one. Um, this is in Light Ivory, and it comes close to um, that one, pretty close just to make a nice base on the eyes. Um, I had a different product on my eyes earlier. I was uh, using the um, Perfect Colors um, 12 in Midnight Garden and using that deep uh, berry tone in the bottom there. But um, I thought I would go ahead and try out this little um, LA Colors palette because it has a berry tone in here. Kind of, you know, set this area right here underneath the eye liner. That way it is nice and set and it won't move. If you set areas like that, it will not move. Go ahead and pop that away. I find if I don't, um, I'm trying to think of the word, 
um, if I don't shave when I'm supposed to, I end up itching like crazy, and it's crazy, it is, especially my legs. I mean, you're talking to someone who does not, you know, wear jeans throughout the summer. I mean, well, shorts, I mean. Sorry. Um, I don't wear shorts. I, I wear jeans a good bit through the summer because I don't like how I look in shorts. I really don't. I'm trying to look for my one brush. I'm going to put a little hair uh, carry here. For things that I cannot find. For things I need. I had to rearrange a lot of things rearrange my life kind of I'm going to go into this um, this light color right here it, at the bottom it's kind of like a um, just to highlight the area this is kind of like a pink toned linen use my little um, close mirror here. It's right over here. Because I was looking at the way I had this when I was uh, showing, um, showing off my makeup to a friend of mine. And um, he said, you know, that's really pretty. You know, you look hot. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that sounds nice coming from you. Um, I am going to go into this uh, dusty kind of like a gray toned muddy shade. Really, really like that. They say you can um, use these together or use them individually. I'm taking this uh, gray toned mauve kind of just to um, make a transition, a little bit of a transition line to keep the rest of the makeup flowing nicely. Now even though this is an LA Colors product, I mean I seriously like them. I mean yes there are um, ingredients in there that are probably, you know, less than, you know, like, perfect for makeup. They say talc is, like, really, really bad for you. That's, like, all the rage right now. Everybody's, you know, screaming and hollering, you know, that talc is, like, so bad for you. Um, and again, some of these things come from China. Um, people are saying, you know, that, you know, anything made in China is, like, really, really bad. But there are, um, certain things that we um, depend on that come from China, like electronics that we depend on and uh, certain um, other things that we use come from China. So maybe we shouldn't complain. Maybe we shouldn't complain. Um, I'm just gonna take this uh, clip out. Just had to um, clip out that one section. I was just trying to make it easy for myself when I go and take, um, especially when I'm trying to do lines and have my hair flopping down in front of me. Um, I'm going to push the light upwards just a touch, just to see where I can get that medium shade. Right. And if you need to, you know, pop your head backwards just a little bit and looking straight upwards, like into a mirror. And you can get that um, curve of the top of your brow bone. Um, it's kind of like in between your brow bone and your. Uh, the socket and it 
really does make a huge difference when you are playing with the upper part of the socket. Now, so far, I think I'm liking how this looks. I mean, that would be a really, really good um, makeup for work. You know, just that mid-tone right there. But, you know, I definitely want to try out this, you know, um, bright, um, rosy tone in the middle there. So, what I'm going to do is use another nicer brush. And um, earlier, when I took from the other palette, I was using uh, my brushes from e.l.f. And I don't know what it is with those e.l.f. brushes. They're not as nice um, anymore as what they used to be. I'm dipping into this, um, this beautiful um, very toned it almost looks like a foil, kind of. And it is. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so beautiful. I hope. Ooh. Ooh my gosh. This is so, so beautiful. And you definitely want to keep within that mid-tone as well. You need to be able to see a little bit of that mid-tone. I am telling you, this is just beautiful. Wow. Definitely take it, instead of going straight in like this, take it sideways. Way you can go right in there, and if you need to, you know, just go straight in and kind of. No, I won't need to. Um, oh, wow, that's pretty. I won't need to refix my eyeliner or anything. I'll just, you know, just keep it just the way it is. Because this color is like so similar to the, to the color that I was using. I'm just uh, gonna pop the um, other side because I have a double-sided mirror. And kind of, um, mid-tone almost reminds me of those um, gray-toned mobs that um, a lot of people were seeing like in animated Disney type movies like the It's my favorite too. I'm surprised you know that really irks me. You know that you know it's like one of my favorite movies, and I can't think. Uh, the Sleeping Beauty. It's a great toned mobs. You know the uh, the animated, the original animated Princess Roar. I think they're going too far. I think Disney's going a little too far with certain things. I do not mean to offend anybody. And um, mind you that I am like conservative. Although some of my uh, views on things certainly have changed for years. But no, that's just... I think that's just, you know, a lot of people are like that, you know, it's like either you become a product of your environment, number one, and number two, as you get older, it seems like once you start experiencing things as an adult, and then it's like, you change a little bit. I'm going to go back to this other little brush here, 
I'm going to go back to that other medium shade. Just soften up that edge just a little bit. I think this would be a beautiful, beautiful thing to try for work. Because it's not too um, bright. It's not too um, horribly um, what's the word? like how that was textured there. Um, I don't go for you know big bold graphic looks for work. But, you know I do try to make a statement with my. makeup, of course. Um, I did try to um, really build the liner, so I did use both the gel and the liquid pen, um, the Wet Mile Breakup Proof. I live off of Wet Mile, <laughs> I like Wet Mile, um, just to, you know, build the line, because if you use both of these together, it will, um, build a nice solid line and you will not have to worry about it you know coming off until you know it's time to take it off later in the day and believe me these are hard to get off <laughs> once you have them on I am going to touch these just a little bit yeah. just the edges where am I seeing skips? Mm. I just saw one little skip, but I think I think it works. I usually go for solid black. Uh, this one is an ultra black, and this one is just regular black. I did um, get myself a brown black, you know, just for. Um, just for kicks and giggles because I like um, stuff like that. When I did my brows today, um, I did go ahead and use the, the kit from Wet n Wild and this one is in um, dark brown because it matches the hair. And then I used a little bit of the Benefit Gimme Brown and I see something that kind of needs, I don't know, maybe it's just the light playing tricks on me. I love Benefit. It's a really, really nice product. Just to give it some structure. My brows actually look even today. There are days where my brows are like all over the place. They do not look even. And it just, oh my goodness, it, it just ticks me off. It really ticks me off. I used my Maybelline Falsies. I was almost considering uh, going for the um, L'Oreal. Oh, what is that? I don't remember. It's the, oh, it's the Lash Paradise. I see it in the bottom there. The Lash Paradise. I was having issues. I think it was with this one. Try to so I don't know what it is about this stuff. It really, really does make my lashes look bigger. It's amazing. Really, really like this stuff. I try to um I'm a little congested. I'm eventually gonna have to um, uh, take something. But now I realize after seeing my doctor, I may have to see an allergist. I'm gonna wait and see. Until then, I'm just taking 
like Zyrtec at night and taking Claritin during the day. Okay, so what do I think about this? Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. This is just looking really, really cool. Really, really, really like it. Um, the, the color is fantastic. Um, the colors are all very, very um, saturated. Very, very, very nice. I like them. I structure my structure my face for the very reason um, that I'm not, you know, I'm a little insecure about my face, about the shape of my face anyway. Um, so I do uh, try to restructure it with some contour. Um, my Wet n Wild contour stick. This one is more in the medium. This is number 752A in medium. I have been doing more of this, like taking the highlight through here and diffusing the line, not blending it, but diffusing it so that you are seeing a structured, so you're seeing the height of the cheekbone with the highlight, but when you, um, do any kind of contouring I'm using the warmer end of the stick I kind of try to thin down the um, my jawline try to restructure the chin because I have a double chin try to shorten the forehead and thin down the nose I have a rather pudgy nose so I do try to like take from the sides and push in upwards a little bit just to keep, you know, the, um, uh, I'm so congested. <laughs> I need to apologize. Um, I use this thing and I use this thing for a lot of stuff. Uh, just, you know, like diffusing the line and kind of like taking it along the sides and pushing upwards on both sides. This brush gets a lot of work. I also use this just to blend out those lines <laughs> for a blush I used this um, Becca product in Dahlia it's a very very beautiful as you can tell it's kind of like a berry toned um, and as you can see it is very saturated, very, very, um, ooh, wow, um, I can never think of a word, it's like here I am doing this kind of stuff and I can, I can never, you know, get the word out, you know, um, yeah, that, a little bit of it on the brush right up in here it's like pigmented it's like pigmented this is like that's the word for it it's extremely pigmented so um if you need to take it from the pan tap it on the back of your hand and then you know just take it right through here and if you need to some people do this. Um, you can find it. It's here somewhere. Just um, just a card that go there, and keep your color right up in here. Keep your color right up in the back there. It, it makes you look very, very youthful. It is a thing right now, and I really like it. I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Um, I went into my little um, highlighting trio. It comes with a gold, a pink topaz, and a pearl. And I chose, of course, the pink topaz just a little bit on both sides of a fan brush. Just to kind of 
highlight areas you feel you need to. I also can use um, your finger or a small brush. Take a little bit of it. into the Cupid's bow. For a lipstick, um, I've been using this one today. This is the NYX uh, Professionals. And I, I really do like these. These are really, really nice. Uh, this one is in Dirty Talk. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use an Eels. My lips have issues, either they're dry or dry and flaky, or you know, they have their moments where they're okay. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my environment because of the fact that I keep it cold. I get migraines easy. It's just a color that seems to go well and complement the rest of the makeup. So, yeah. Thanks so much for turning back. I'll see you in the next one. Love you so very much. See you soon.